Braden Smith. Back to throw. Looking long. Throws for Dodson. He catches it. Does he get in? Yes. Preston Dodson with a unbelievable catch for his second touchdown reception of the year. The former Campbell basketball player in the end zone and an extra point away from tying this game are the fighting count. And they'll rush it again. Smith again. Bulls between the tackles. He has the first down. Gets into the secondary. The 10, the 5. He is tripped up and brought down at the 2-yard line. From the shotgun, Braden Smith. He'll hand off to Smith. Smith, no problem this time. Dives forward for the touch. And McGregor quickly throws, and it's intercepted. At the 10, at the 20, at the 30, at the 40. Running back and looking for room around the right side. Ripped up and finally brought down on the play is Steph Monroe. Steph Monroe with the interception on the five. To throw Braden Smith. Smith looking to the corner of the end zone to Dodson. It's a jump ball. Dodson has it. He comes down, inbound for the touchdown. Preston Dodson with an acrobatic catch in the corner of the end zone. And that's exactly what they did, and they got a big play. Well, and, you know, you good. mentioned the silver lining is that you've got the clock. Unfortunately, when you get a big play. On as uh, Jacksonville used the big play again, uh, five straight touchdowns of safety to end it up again. Again, when you look at the score on scoreboard, you know it's already behind us. We, we're getting ready for this for this trip. You know, this is still a big game. And it's a long season. You know, anything can happen. We want to make sure that we come out on top as PFL champs. We know we need to need to refocus, um, and that you know that that game doesn't determine uh, this conference. Uh, there's a there's a lot of games left to be played, and uh, we're, we're going to rally together and go back to work next week.